Then the next thing is that how do you override the methods, right? Remember overriding is that if you have a method by that name defined in the parent class or the super class, you can define a new function um, or the same name function with different functionality. So same name function with different functionality. That is called overriding. So display is questions has its own display function and choice question has its display function, right? And I've color coded them so you understand which is coming from which class. So in the choice question display function will be something else. Remember in the parent it's just print self dot underscore text. Here since there are multiple choices what do we do? We have written a for loop. For in i in this range. What's the range till? The length of the choices list. There can be four choices, five choices, whatever. Right? Do what? Choice number, increase it by one, print it, and print that choice from that choices list. And that's it. So display the answer choices. And So since we can't access the text variable because it's in the super class, so to call that method of the super class or to get to that variable, you call the method of the super class using the same kind of convention that we used for a constructor. So any method that you want to call for the parent class, you use the keyword super empty parentheses dot name of the function and if any parameters are needed. Okay. So it will first display the question text coming from the parent class and then it's followed by the answer choices which are this thing. So why do we call the display function of the parent class? Because we're just reusing the code that in that function we are just printing the uh, text of the question anyways. Right? So we don't need to rewrite that here in this class, but hand, otherwise, uh, like instead of that, we are using that function that's already been written. So code, reuse. So let's see how it runs. We've already defined the choice question class. It should be here, yeah. So the so let's look at the choice question class first. What's happening in the choice question class? You're inheriting from question, okay? Constructor is what? First calling the constructor of the parent class, defining a new variable called choices to be an empty list, add choices, we just saw what that method is or does. If the correct choice was passed, do this. We've already seen these functions and the display, we also saw that first you call the display of the parent and then you get the uh, like in a loop, you display the choices A, B, C, D, or 1, 2, 3, 4 in this case. Okay, so what's happening in the main driver that is, the demo file? First is choice question. What is choice question? It's a subclass. You create an object called first of the subclass. And you're saying first dot set text. Okay. Let's go and see, it, does choice question have a set text function? No. Does it have here? No. 
and where is it coming from that is coming from the parent class the super class so when you call the set text function on the child object or the uh, sub object it will call the function of the parent because there is no other method that's overwritten in the subclass okay then you add choices so 1991 is true all the others are past false so when you say add choice 1991 so this function is called with 1991 and true okay Choices dot append choices was empty. This is the first one. Okay, if true, do this. Get the index of choices. Set that as the answer. Set answer function is not available in this class again. But we can call it on this object directly. Why don't we use the super keyword here as here? because super is used only when there are two implementations and you want to specify that go call the implementation of the super class here there is no other uh, method called set answer so the compiler knows that it needs to go to the method defined in the super class and etc etc then you create another question Again, do the same thing, text, etc, etc. Then present question first. Okay, let's see what's the present question. Present question is this. It's accepting an object. Q, let's say. So what are we passing here? We pass the whole object that we created. Why? Because then you can say, use this object dot call the function display function is called for which class since first is the object of subclass called choice question it calls the display function of the subclass then it waits for the user answer whatever the user provides check the answer and so on okay you should be able to understand these try to run the program these files number of times change the variables and see how it interacts and that is it for inheritance for our purposes